It's super easy to turn your drone into a data capturing daemon. And I'm going to show you today how we can do that with Drone Deploy. So one of the reasons that I like Drone Deploy is that I can create my missions on iOS or Android devices, as well as on a desktop computer and sync across the different platforms. So once we've created our free account, there are paid accounts as well, but you only need a free account to do mission planning for mapping. We're going to go over and tap on project. And that's going to automatically take us to a location where our drone is. Now I'm going to say that I would like to create a mission somewhere around this reef here, which is quite close to where I live, and tap on create project. Now as I do that, it's going to ask me for a name of my project. So we're going to call this Double Island and continue. Now then over on the left hand side, you'll see we have maps and models. So I'm going to tap on that and that's the best one to use for mapping mission planning but it's still not perfect. So, so there are some changes that I need to make. The first one is that, let's have a look over here at the top left-hand side, the number of minutes that it's going to fly. So I'm going to plan a mission around about 15 minutes as I know that that's, that's generally what I'm quite comfortable flying with allowing time for me to get both to and from the start of the mission. You can see that the altitude here is set at 60 meters. Now I'm going to change that to 80 meters. So let's pop in and change that. And then the next one I'm going to change is this enhanced 3D. So I'm going to turn this off because if you look over here, you see these green flight lines. And I tend to find that this cross hatch, hatch pattern doesn't work so well when I stitch all my photos together. So I'm going to turn this one off. Now what you see is immediately that changes the flight time because obviously there's half of the area that needs to cover because it doesn't need to cross grid like that. And so that means that we can cover a larger area when we fly as well. But before we change the area that we're going to fly in, we're going to tap into this advanced area. And I also want to change these automatic settings. So at the moment they're set at 75% overlap and 70% side lap. So I'm going to tick that one off and I'm going to change both the side lap and overlap values to 80%. So if you remember, I suggested using an 80% altitude, uh, sorry, 80 meter altitude. Now we're going to change the front overlap and the side lap both to 80% there. And that just means that it's, it's an easy number for us to remember. And specific projects may have different values for the altitude, etc. But this is just a really good rule of thumb to start with. So now once we, we've popped that one in and that will actually slightly change the flight lines here as well. Now that we have that, we're able to change the area that we might like to fly. So I'm going to try and increase the area a little bit to bump up this flight time. And to do that, all I need to do is just pick up these little white handles and I move that out. And what I'm aiming to do is to get an area that's roughly rectangular in shape and preferably still has a north-south flight line, as you can see this one does here. So the flight lines are going up and down, backwards and forwards like we would as a lawnmower. And sometimes it's easier to zoom out a little bit to figure out exactly the area that you may want to cover. So you, you can see on the left-hand side, my flight time is increasing as I go and, and I make these adjustments. Now, if I was ready to fly this, I was actually in location. All I would then need to do once I was happy with that plan is down on the bottom right hand side, you have this button to connect the drone. So I would just tap on that. It would connect to my drone and go through a quick check that everything is all connected. It's got enough GPS and all that sort of thing. I then manually take off to get to altitude and, I, and then I press play for the mission to, to complete. If at any stage I want to call my drone back during a mission, for whatever reason that may be, all I need to do is to switch my drone out of that automatic flight mode. So you can change it to sport mode or to addy mode and then immediately back to your GPS mode and fly it manually home again. So that's a really, really quick way that you can use drone deploy for mapping with your DJI drones.